All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your favorite animal scientist, Mr. Amos Kester. We're here in Itori, Ogun State. So the view you are seeing is actually the greenhouse. I'm actually the one handling the camera at this moment. So you just have to do my voice for now. Later on, you see me in person. Of course, you've been seeing me a lot. So, yeah, so we're about going into the greenhouse. I want to give you a view of what it's like in the night, uh, how the snails are thriving inside the greenhouse. To the best of my memory, I don't know if I've made any video that, um, I don't know if I've made any video in the night inside the greenhouse. So, uh, this is Victor, he's actually the manager of the farm. He's one of my staff. So I gave him to this farm. To manage the farm is one of my best hands so yeah this is the doorway so right from the door you can see the snails yeah it's quite unique in the night uh, we're giving you this view for the first time like I said to the best of my memory I don't know if I've actually made a video like this before I've got a lot of videos on the YouTube so sometimes I forgot the ones I've done and the ones I haven't done yeah so this is a view of the greenhouse in the night so you can see the snails are everywhere from the videos we've shown during the daytime you will notice that you don't find the snails out like this okay so you can see this is the purpose of the platform you can see the snails what they are feeding on is on ripe purple that we actually supplied them this evening so you can see they also feed on the vegetation this is uh, a snail feeding on the cocoyam leaf so you can see the snails right there let's see if we can zoom it yeah you see them all over the wall there so that's how they come out in the night and during the daytime you almost don't find them so We'll just take you along so you can see what it looks like in the night. It's all grassy and we need to mind our steps. But we are able to see clearly so that's not a problem. So let's see if we can give you a little glimpse of these ones here. So you can see them here. So during the daytime, you almost don't find anything in this greenhouse. Because they find shade under the leaves and also under the woods. But during the night, you can see them. They are doing their thing. What they know how to do. And they are almost done with whatever we placed upon this feeding rack. Okay. So you can see the other ones on the ground. And some of them are, are walk paths. So this is our work part. Some persons use concrete floor uh, to do theirs. That's fine, very okay. But we choose to use wood so we can elevate it from the ground. And we don't have to step on the ground every time we come in. And also, it's just our way of doing it. So we're not saying the block pattern is not good. Okay, so here we are you can see them here they are almost exhausting what we gave to them we actually gave them on ripe purple for this night and they're almost done with it this is around 10 o'clock in the night i'm making this video so from 7 30 they are up and running with their food so shouldn't be surprised seeing that everything is exhausted Okay, let's see if we can, yeah, you can see them here, so it's quite interesting, this is one of our greenhouses in Itori, in Ogun State. I actually arrived today quite late, so I may have made the video a lot earlier when the feed was still very much 
on the platforms but if you look at this you will see the whitish stuff there that's the purple fruits so they're almost exhausting it and you can see them everywhere on the floor so this is a view of the greenhouse and the nines I know we've made some videos of it during the daytime or well, here we are in the night so you can have a view of it and see how the greenhouse works and you can see how active the snails are so these platforms help us to evaluate the snails to see their performance usually when they come up like this to feed at night we check them and see the sizes you can see these sizes are already table size so they can actually be harvested and sold to the market all right you can see them here Where? Okay. Yeah. They pro they almost incubate their eggs themselves. So you can see the fruits here. That's the unripe purple fruit. You can see them doing justice to it. And some have eaten and are going back while others are coming. So that's just the way it is. So you see them very happy and everywhere. So during the daytime, they hide under these wooden platforms. So it serves as shade during the day and in the night it serves as feeders so that's the essence you can see the vegetation yeah we have some of them here too feeding on the purple they are almost exhausting it like we said this is past 10 in the night and usually by 5 p.m. we sprinkle water in the greenhouse as you can see it's all moist even on top of the woods we sprinkle water by 5 p.m. and feed them exactly after the watering you can see the sprinklers after the watering we feed them and from 7 they start feeding so by this time, you shouldn't be surprised, they are almost rounding up with whatever we place inside there. You can see these ones here. Yeah, it's a big greenhouse. We're just halfway. You can see it inside. So there are lots of snails, loads of them on the ground. And very active so we cannot possibly show you all the snails because it's quite a big greenhouse and the snails are scattered everywhere so we'll just show you what we can see on the surface yeah you can see this all over the trunk of the kukuyam and some are also climbing on our footpaths. So you have to mind your foot or your step. So you can see how they are here. Okay, so we are almost, we are at the extreme end 
of the greenhouse. Okay, Victor, I think you need to come behind me. Okay, so you can see them right here. Yeah, very active, climbing the nets, the walls. It's very, very interesting and a very beautiful sight to behold. So you can see, you know where your investment is. This is beautiful. So you can only get value for your money at Kesta Amos Consultancy Services Limited. So you can see the snails. All over the match. Yeah. Now during the day when you come into the greenhouse, you won't find any of the snails outside. As you're seeing right now. So they will all be under the ground. Some will dig into the soil. Some will go under the wooden platforms and some will hide under the leaves. So that's how they live during the daytime. But in the night like this, you see them very active. They are everywhere. So this is why we say snails are nocturnal animals. They are active at night but dormant during the daytime. So this is a greenhouse. So you can see we need to light it up for us to be able to have access to the snails. All right, so All right, so this is me, your favorite animal scientist, Mr. Kesta Amos. So right here in Itori, Ogun State. It's quite a massive farm, one of the finest, I think the finest farms we built. I'm going to take you outside just to give you a view of the ninth view of the farm. But tomorrow I'm going to make a follow-up video to this one. So probably one week after you see this video, you're going to see the daytime video of the farm. But we're just going to give you the nice view of the farm. It's quite a beautiful farm. So uh, this is what it is inside the greenhouse. This is some minutes past 10 p.m. in the night here in Itori, Ubun State, Nigeria. So uh, this is how the snails actually live in the greenhouse. So you can see them here once again. They are feeding and they're doing very well. So you can see these ones right here. So this is how the snails will continue living. They will multiply, they will keep growing. The young ones will come up and also grow along with the mature ones. So after some time, probably after a year or thereabouts, we'll start investing these bigger ones, selling them off to the market while the young ones will continue to grow. Like from our previous videos, you must have seen where the young ones uh, come out, emerge from the soil and are actually growing together with the adults because we've made a lot of return videos from our greenhouses that have been uh, installed previously. So you must have seen that. But what you're seeing here are all mature adults because the snails have been here for quite some time. All right, so we're going to take you now to the concrete pens and also show you just a nice view of what it looks like. All right. All right, so we are in the, still in the farm premises. So you can see how beautiful the farm looks at night. 
this is just some of the staff quarters within the premises. Now, on this side is the concrete pen. So you come through this doorway. Okay, this is the penthouse. You can actually see, you can see the view of it here. Yeah, I will turn on the lights. We'll turn on the lights because we want you to see what it looks like at night. Because there's actually electricity in the farmhouse. But we don't need it. It's only on because we're making this video in the night. Immediately we're done with the video, we're going to strip it off because the snails don't need light at night. Like we said, they are nocturnal animals, they like a dark environment. So you can see the view of this farm. This is very beautiful. Now we have a telephone here. You can actually put through a call, an emergency call. So this is to tell you this farm is the state of the heart project. So you can see how beautiful it looks. I've actually made a video of this before when we were actually constructing. We've not roofed and these covers have not been put as a den. It was all just the block work and the greenhouse. So if you have been a follower for quite some time, you would remember that video. 320 pens here in Itori. So the farm is done. It's complete. So we'll just walk you through to the next trip. And I can remember very well. I was standing right here when I made that video at the center of the concrete pens while we were still doing the construction. So probably if you have seen that video, you would remember. So this is actually the farm. So you can see the snails here. They are feeding. They are almost done with what we gave to them. So you can see they are fast eaters. So we gave them some uh, popolis here too. So let's see if we can find any of them. Yeah, it's exhausted. So this is the dry leaves and this are the snails. So you can see what I was talking about. Yeah, so they are actually feeding. We had lots of this, but I think it's just this one remaining. Okay, we still have a little pieces here. So, when your animals are active, they feed very well. But if they're not active, probably there's ill health. The animals are not healthy. They don't feed because one of the signs of ill health or sickness is poor appetite or uh, lack of feeding. So that's one of the problems you observe best if your animals are not okay. Even in conventional livestock, goats, cattle, sheep, poultry, and so on, the animals go off feed when they are not healthy. So to see uh, that they've almost exhausted their feed within this time of the evening, because it just, I think almost about 10.30 uh, now, to tell you that the animals are very healthy. So this is it. And uh, we can say more. Of course, like I said, tomorrow we are going to make a daytime video where we're going to combine everything from the staff quarter to this unit and to the greenhouse all over again just to give you a view of what it looks like during the daytime. So thank you very much. We appreciate you. And we're trying to do our best to give you the best service and update you with every bit of the, the, the process. So... We appreciate you a lot. And just in case you want to reach us, the number to call is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two. Or go below the link, uh, the description of the video, and you get the number there. So until we come your way again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and click on the bell icon so whenever we have more videos, you get a notification. Thank you. God bless you. And bye-bye. Have a good night.